When you meditate, it's just you right here, right now. Your awareness and the breath. And then you check to make sure that the two of those things stay together. If they don't, you have a checklist. Is there something wrong with the breath? Try different ways of breathing. Is there something wrong with feelings? Are there pains in the body? Or find some part of the body that's comfortable. Focus on what you've got. It may not seem very comfortable, but how are you going to develop something unless you start with what you've got? So find a part of the body that's okay. Focus there. Now the mind still doesn't settle down. You want to look into the, into the mind itself. What are you carrying around from the day? You've got to learn how to obliterate all thoughts that have nothing to do with right now. You can think of the breath as a big broom sweeping through the mind, sweeping through the mind-body complex all at once. Or there are specific thoughts that really have you bothered. You've got to learn how to think in the opposite way. So that's your checklist. Body, feelings, mind. When you've checked through all of them, and you're going to find some reason for why the mind isn't settling down. You deal with that, and then things can come together. Because it's by keeping these things together that they have developed properly. As I was saying just now, you don't want to throw away what good things you've got, or ignore what good things you already have. Even though they may not seem very good, they're the raw material from which you work. Because we do bring some goodness into the meditation, and you want to appreciate that. Build on your strengths. Now, there are days when the strengths may not seem all that strong, but take what you've got. Work with what you've got, and you find that you can get the mind to settle down in all kinds of situations. So keep this checklist in mind, because it covers, in a very large sense, where all the problems can be. And then you work out your own details in the checklist as you get to know the breath better, you get to know the feelings in the body better, get to know the ins and the outs of the minds better. And that way the meditation becomes more and more of a skill.